There's another choice that we have in life. That's a life's companion. Young man or young woman. Stepping out on life has, a, has been given a right to make a choice. Young man chooses. A young woman has a right to accept or reject it. But it's still a choice on both sides. Both man and woman. They have a right to choice. Now, it's a serious thing when we go to choose a wife. A man, for the vow here, is until death do we part. That's how we should keep it. And you take that vow before God, that only death will separate you. And I think we should, a man in his right mind, that's planning a future, that he should choose that wife very be careful what you're doing. And the woman choosing a husband or accepting the choice of a husband should be real careful what she's doing. And especially in these days. A man should think and pray before he chooses a wife. And we find that if a man prayed and a woman prayed over the matter, not just look at a pretty set of eyes or big strong shoulders or such as that or some other worldly affection but would look first to God and say God is this your plan I think today there's so much cheating and if we would study what we're doing when we're going to get married when we choose our wife our husband if we study it over, a man should pray it earnestly, for he could ruin his entire life. Remember, the vow is until death do we part. And he could ruin his life by making the wrong choice. But if he knows what he's making the wrong choice, and is marrying a woman and isn't fit to be his wife, and he does it anyhow, then it's his fault. If the woman takes the husband and knows that he's not fit to be a husband to you, then that's your own fault. After you know what's right and wrong. So you shouldn't do it until you thoroughly pray through. So you must make the right choice. Again, the kind of woman that a man would choose who will reflect his ambition and his carriage. If a man chooses the wrong woman, it reflects his carriage. And what he ties himself to shows truly what's in A woman reflects shows what's down in him, no matter what he says outside, watch what he married. Could you imagine a Christian doing a thing like that? No, sir. I could not. A true Christian will not look for such beauty queens and coarse girls and sex queens. He'll look for Christian character. Now you can't have all things. It might be one girl that's real pretty. And the other girl, maybe she's, uh, her statue looks better than this one. And you might have to sacrifice one for the other. But if she's not the statue of a lady, of a woman, and she's, I don't care whether she's pretty or not, you better look at her character whether she's pretty or not pretty. Now, for it is becoming, if a Christian would choose a wife, he ought to choose a genuine, born-again woman. Regardless of what she looks like, it's what she is, what makes her. And then again, that reflects his own godly character and reflect what's in his mind and what's going to be in the future for his family will be raised with such a woman.